in GL, uh, GL OTBI, these are the four subject areas. One is uh, balances real time, journals real time, period status real time, and transactional balances real time. Now, this balances real time subject area, it is based on SBase cube. So the kind of reporting tools, uh, other tools are available for SBase cube. I don't think anybody will be using OTBI to generate the balancing reports. Because you have FR Studio, you have Smart View, you have uh, Account Monitor, Account Inspector. So you will be using those tools to get the balances related information. Even this uh, last one, it uh, directly connects to that transactional database and gives the balancing information. So both these subject areas, I have not seen any customer uh, uses that. They always use SBase Cube. So those tools, FR Studio, Smart View, Account Monitor, Account Inspector. Those tools they use. Okay, but these two subject areas again stores the balances. Journals real time. So when you create any journal, like uh, uh, yesterday we posted one journal in the system. We have given account code, we have given period, we have given accounting date, source, category. So this subject area, journals real time, it has the information of all the journals which got created in the system. Okay, so maybe briefly see, I'll just uh, go into that uh, subject area. So general ledger, journals real time. So you have approval status. So what is the status of the journal? Suppose if you have enabled the approval, then you uh, you can check the status of all the journals, approval status, journal batches. So when journal is created, it has three levels, journal batches, journal headers, and journal lines. So batch is uh, like, uh, it can have multiple headers, and he one header can have multiple lines. When I say journal, that means journal header. That is the entity which we use for uh, journal posting. At header level, we can post. We are not posting at batch level, okay? Or we can, uh, both the options are there. So batch details like batch name and all those things will be there. Batch, journal batch, description, period date, posting date. Then batches, so total of that batch. So these are various folders, approval status, journal batches, and under folder, you will have dimensions or facts. So uh, facts are like uh, measurable columns, like amount columns, those will be facts. Journal header, so uh, what all uh, currency, period, so these are different under uh, say period, accounting period. So when I say accounting period, Jan 14, it will have a start date, end date, it will have period number, it will belong to a particular quarter, belong to a particular financial year. So all those things you can find out under accounting period, year start date, year end date, quarter start date, quarter end date. So because you cannot add any new column, so Oracle has provided as many columns as possible, like whatever information is relevant to that particular field they have captured here. Okay, so you can do the journal level reporting using this journal's real time subject area. Similarly, if uh, you want uh, this period status real time, so you want to see the period status, you can get uh, through that period status real, uh, real time subject area. Okay, so period, bill, uh, when I uh, when we created that ledger, so we had four C's, chart of account, currency, calendar. So calendar will be associated with a ledger. So you will be opening and closing the period at ledger level. So ledger and period status. Okay. And uh, that, that is ledger level period, GL period, but you have uh, periods for uh, 
um, accounts payable, accounts receivable. So those accounting periods also you can open and close or you will have to open and close. So the status of those periods also can be seen from this subject area, sub ledger subject areas. So application name, so when you uh, pick this application name will be general ledger or accounts payable or accounts receivable or fixed assets. So these are uh, uh, all these periods you can check from this subject area.